Oh, we are in the mini event of Ambien, and this is the leg space. And I need to have my bag here like that. Because there is no space. And this is gonna take four hours. If we're lucky. Mm -hmm. Vincent's legs say hi to you. <laughs> Your legs were in there. So we made it to Van Viang. That bus journey was supposed to take four hours, it took six hours. How nice. And you've seen how much space we had to move our legs. But now we are here, we are in a, what is supposed to be a good position. Uh, from the map it looks that we are in the middle of the town. I'm gonna show you a little bit what's the view from the room. A little bit different from Luang Prabang Van Vien. So we have clean sheets, quite of a big room. We even have tally, some chairs where to put stuff. Quite of a big bathroom. Still, not the standard of Thailand, but much better than the ones that we had in Luang Prabang. around the town. You want to take this? Yes. <laughs> and sadly we realized that it's not so exciting <laughs> and uh, it feels very much that it's like... They have a Kmart. Yeah, that it looks like a 7-Eleven, yeah. I suppose it is. And um, we think that it's like properly place where only party people come and they spend the day like hungover and then they party at night so we'll see at least we don't have to stay here long and as you've seen what i filmed before all the menus of the street food they are all exactly the same even handwritten in the same way so not so characteristic so far but the surrounding is beautiful actually that is built for backpackers but the fact that they keep like very very low standards like if backpackers they don't care at all about like a clean table for example we went to a place that they had like this kind of plastic um, table uh, cloth and it was like so dirty and they went with like trying to clean it with a uh, tissue you could literally see the line of the dirt that I removed. That in That's Laos. That's good fun. In Laos, there are a lot of places that they will sell you happy fish. Leave it, throw it away. They will sell you happy stuff. Rasta bar! Which means like happy pancakes, happy burger, happy this, happy that. Like here. I think they had it here. Yeah, here. This Wait. Is awesome. I want to show. Happy shake. Yeah. Magic shake. I'll show you. So 
know what a brownie balloon is is still a mystery for me. <laughs> I've seen already twice the balloon situation, but anyway, it's like some trick words to hide like some marijuana or opium stuff just to let you know so don't order them well, if you don't you want can it if you want. exactly <laughs> it depends on what you want another thing is that for some weird reasons they show friends everywhere all night long all day long all day long I don't know why. Anyway, Laos is a little bit special in its own way. Good morning. It's half past ten in the morning, and the day started very slowly because I had some problems, stomach problems during the morning. So now we decided to take it very slow today, just to see a little bit how I will feel. This is how the town looks in the morning. Pretty dead, right? Hi guys, it's the day after. I've been sick the whole day yesterday and I'm still not feeling well. And that's why I'm wearing sunglasses because you can't imagine my face how it looks like. A new pair of glasses too. Because, <laughs> what happened with your uh, other pair? Yeah, because in all this yesterday, half an hour that we went out, I even broke my sunglasses. So I had to buy this new, very beautiful, fake ribbon <laughs> anyway I want to hope that the worst is hold behind I look so funny I look like a serial killer <laughs> So a little refreshing break in the only decent standard place that you have in Bambiang and that is expensive like hell. It's so hot so I took a watermelon shake and Vincent took a mango shake. <laughs> hiking <laughs> this oh viewpoint that we thought there would be stairs you just saw was the top of that rock with the flag. It looks like it is close but it's a proper hike. That rock I was standing at. Unfortunately Alessia didn't make it all the way. Well I didn't make it just to the top. To the very last rock like the last like five meters so, or uh, 
it was something like that. I lost five, ten meters. The thing is that when you are sick and you think that you are gonna have a chilled and relaxed day, and I know that many other girls on the same sickness that I have today, they spend the whole day in bed. Well, I was like, yeah, let's go out. But of course, I didn't expect that we were gonna climb. And I don't know if from the video you can see, but it was a proper hardcore hike to get there. It wasn't like too long, but it was very hard between rocks and stuff. And But it was okay. <sighs> Sugar, okay, thank you. Wow. All so right. Please enjoy your dinner. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Very you. Much. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, full and tired. Ah, oh, cozy. The aim of the day it was to manage to spend a day outside of the party crowd. And I think we pretty much managed. So we started with this very nice kayaking trip and uh, we did eight kilometers with the kayak. No, it wasn't a kayak, it was a canoeing. And the first three kilometers, it was like beautiful, only me and Vincent in the river, wonderful surrounding. And then we slowly met the crowd of people tubing. For who doesn't know what it is, can Google it. Then we did the hike, which I could have avoided, but it was still nice to do at the end. And now uh, we decided just to go out for dinner, but you know, all the restaurants around here, they are all very low standards. And so we went to a resort for dinner. It was so nice and it felt so like peaceful and relaxing. And we actually didn't spend much. A luxury resort, but I spent like 60 kroner for my main. <laughs> yeah, it was like not so expensive. And uh, I mean, of course, very expensive if you are just backpacking. But I mean, it's not that you spend more than going kayaking, for example. So you can actually do these kind of things now and then, uh, alternate. Like excursion with a nice dinner or something like that. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Tomorrow we are going to Vientiane, which is the capital of Laos, where we are gonna fix our Vietnamese visa, stay there a few days and then head to Vietnam. So stay tuned. Good night. Nighty.